are definitely going to talk about your series pick that Miami is going to win the chip. But let's talk a little bit about football. Uh, you guys made some some news, uh, not for good reasoning. Uh, you know about the Jonathan Martin scandal at home. We're going to talk about it here. You were one of the few voices in the locker room uh, that was very vocal about how you felt the team was being portrayed, what was happening inside of your locker room. And here's a quote. What's been bothering me is kind of things that you hear from outside this locker room about things that maybe undermine the integrity of our leadership or the type of players and the class of guys that we have here and the class of this organization. I've been here five years and Coach Philbin has done nothing but turn this organization in a positive direction from top to bottom. So not only do you have to deal with Jonathan Martin the entire season, you don't make the playoffs. How tough of a season was it for you all? Um, I mean, I, I think everybody knows kind of uh, from the out, outside what was going on in the locker room. And, and, you know, football wasn't necessarily going the way we wanted to. We, like I said, we didn't make the playoffs. Had an opportunity at the end of the season to kind of close it out and get in. But, um, you know, we didn't finish. So um, it was tough. I mean, I'll be honest with you, it was tough from, from top to bottom. And, um, you know, the thing that, that kind of stuck with me most is the way the guys all came together. You know, everybody got behind each other, said, you know, this is a, a, a us against the world kind of situation, you know, and we have to, to make sure that each man has a man to his left and his right back. And every Sunday we go out there and we give it our all. How do you feel about Jonathan Martin now? Uh, it's tough. You know, it is tough because, you know, I, I wasn't involved in whatever he was going through. So for me to, to speak on another man's weight, you know, I... I don't know how tough it is for me, for him, excuse me. For me, you know, maybe things would be different and everybody re responds to stresses differently. So I can't speak on, you know, what goes on in, from him. But, you know, for me as a person, the way I deal with things, you know, I address them, you know, front, head front and center. And, you know, those situations for me maybe would have been a different way. And hopefully I wish either now and going forward that anybody who has that situation, you know, it, it, it's so addressed differently. you still have some resentment for the way he handled I, I, would, I would wish the, the whole situation would have been handled differently, you know, and I, and I feel like, you know, football is a different situation than, you know, working at a, a corporate office and, and okay. some of the rules may be a little different, different but yeah. um, it, the whole situation was kind of, I think, uh, upsetting around. So tell us about your football team. And by the way, I love your, your Dolphins aqua jacket that you got on. Oh, yeah, I got to represent cool. even when yeah, I... That looks good. Thank you. Appreciate okay, it. Okay, it's hard for me as we sit here right now to make a case for your team being that competitive within a division that's still, to me, dominated by New England with the Jets moving just a little bit above you guys. How do you feel about that uh, stance of mine? Well, obviously, I've been here for a little while, and, and there's no doubt that New England has had given us trouble for the past few years. Um, you know, but I, I go off of, you know, the things that I see day in and day out, you know, the way I've seen guys progress and, and the strides that we're making, you know, not just individually, but as a team. And, you know, even going into last year where, you know, I look at that division and, you know, we end up splitting with uh, the Jets, splitting with New England, and then Buffalo beat us twice, you know, and mm -hmm. it, it feels like every week that we play those division games, it's going to be a game. It's not like, hey, we're just coming here and New England's going to win or Buffalo's going to get squashed or it's every week, week in and week out, it's going to be competitive. And, uh, of course, I, I think that we're making strides toward being the top of that division. And um, I think we've shown that over the past season. We've got to do it more consistently. But would you still say New England at this moment, adding Revis, deserves to be ranked as the top team in your division? Uh, I'm, I, it'd be hard for me to say that. You know, I feel like, again, I'm, of course I'm biased, you know, being in that locker room and being on the field. We just literally finished our OTAs. And, you know, I've seen the things that, that the guys on even on offense, they're making tremendous strides with the new coordinator. And um, I, I'm looking forward to, you know, making that, that, that statement you made and making you have to question that coming okay. up this season. Skip doesn't believe in Ryan Tannehill. Do you? I do. I do. Why? I think, Again, I, I, you got a guy who's coming in young, and I know everybody has their bumps going along the road is, is trying to learn the NFL. Sure. And he sure, he sure had his. But every day, literally, I'm, I'm a guy chasing him around the field, yeah. you know, and I'm watching him make the reads that maybe he didn't make uh, a couple years ago or, or making plays that he didn't make. And, and moving forward, you know, he's gotten better every season. I know this season is going to do the same. All right. Back to uh, basketball. Mm -hmm. Miami Heat in seven. Miami Heat. It's you know what I watched the game last night. You know, um, and I'm fortunate to be down here. I've been a couple games over the over the course of the season, and it's amazing to watch those guys play when they play to the level that they're capable of playing. Um, I don't think obviously we didn't see that last night, but I know when you take a maxed out team of the Miami Heat and a maxed out team of the Spurs, I feel like your Miami Heat's going to prevail. So. Now, that's all granted or, or contention upon the, them 
maxing out that effort, and that has to come from all five guys on the court. And obviously, you can't just have one guy doing it. It's a team, you know, and, and right now the Spurs are playing as better as a team than the Miami Heat, so we got to turn it around. But you're hanging in with what? I'm, Heat in seven? I'm, you still? That, that's the only way it's going to get done. And, okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's the, so the choice, Skip. <laughs> that's the only way it's going to get done, and I mean, Again, I think that you have a lot of guys on that team who have the, the ability, have the drive, have that, that fire to, to make that happen. But again, they have to make sure they get it done. Mayor. I have nothing to add. Okay. I mean, he can believe what he wants. Okay. I definitely respect that. And we are hopeful that the Miami Heat will do that. But we've seen no indication over the last couple of games that the Miami Heat are capable of getting beyond a game five, let alone to a game seven. Mm. We would have to see it our way and see. But I'm... I'm you, gonna, still I'm gonna you still got the key. I'm going to restore. You still got the key to the, the city. The key to South Beach. Uh -huh. you know, the key to the city. Oh, wait, give uh -huh. gifts out. I got yeah, gifts, too. You have okay. gifts. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's Honorary nice. Gifts. Let's see who we got here. Now, I wear this. Skip. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and, of course, actually, I here's my problem. Oh, here's my problem. Thank here's my problem. I'm not sure. I'm not sure Skip deserves it. <laughs> considering how he speaks about Tannehill. That's my only thing. Well, you know what? Because I believe you. in Tannehill. Uh, I, like, I like Tannehill. I think he's got a lot of promise. Okay.